Hi, I'm Amr. I'm one of the co-founders of Bitto, and I'm really excited about some of our first automations that we're launching here at Bitto. This first one we're going to talk about is to how to help you automatically document an entire repo or set of files. Uh, funnily enough, we actually use Bitto to write a script that calls Bitto and iterates through the directory to document it, each file. All right, so you start out, uh, go to our uh, uh, Git Bitto at GitHub. Um, and we've got our CLI here, which you'll need for this, um, but all the automations are in the automations project. So we've got three different automations here. We've got documentation, test case generation, and generating commit messages. So let's talk a little bit about documentation. So what this is going to do is it's going to use this script, create doc.sh. It's going to iterate through a folder. So you use it here by giving it a folder name. And it's going to um, iterate through each folder, call the Bitto C each folder, uh, each file, call the Bitto CLI, and using the prompt, which we'll go through in a minute, uh, it will generate the, the documentation. So, all right, so let's run it. Um, I've got uh, I've got my prompt here. I mean, I've got my um, script to create doc, and we're going to document this folder local code AI. Um, so I'm going to call create doc and I'm going to feed it the folder local code AI. So what it's going to do is it's creating documentation in this, it's made a new folder called doc local code AI and it is going and creating documentation for each file. All right, so I think that's enough. So let's look at some of the output it created. So we're going to head into local code. So it created this folder. And let's, oh, we need to go into local code AI. This is the folder. And let's take a look here. All right, let's take a look at. Uh, this file create detailed index. So it's given a summary. This parses different programming languages in a given directory. Uh, it's all in, written in Markdown, but this is dependencies um, that are required by this file. Um, it outlines functions that are in there and comment and documents them. Um, it also highlights assumptions and external resources. Pretty cool. All right, so let's let's take a look at the prompt. Um, let's see. Here. So we have this prompt. So this is a uh, a pretty detailed prompt for documenting the code. Provide a brief overview. Note any dependencies, class and modules, functions, code block comments, edge cases and assumptions. So it's a pretty sophisticated prompt that gives a lot of detail. If you want to make any changes, you can change it here. You could change the language that you want to documentation in. Uh, uh, you can say you want certain things. You can organize it differently. You can actually have it comment the code itself. Uh, here we're creating it, as you see, in a separate you know folder. All right, a couple of housekeeping things. Um, First, to use this, you need to have the Bitto CLI. If you have longer files, you may want to upgrade to our 10x play plan, so you can submit entire files as long as 240,000 characters. And you can also choose, if you have the paid plan, you can also choose how you want to use the CLI with the basic or advanced model. So you just type Bitto config uh, L to see what settings you have. Um, so I've set it to the advanced model currently. But if you wanted to, you can just type bitto config dash L, uh, sorry, E to edit the file and change it to the basic uh, model if you want to do that. All this is explained at the bottom of the CLI documentation uh, right here about changing what kind of model you want, basic or advanced. All right, great. Well, thank you. Uh, we're excited to see you use this and give us your feedback.